Far Poly Side coming at you. Michael Pickering here talking our famous question. What's going on in the world today? And let's go fresh off that press. A lo-fi global for you. Out in Spain, the government has announced plans to put a very interesting customer service bill up to vote in Parliament. And while normally I'd like to wait for a law to pass before talking about it, this one I just couldn't help myself. You see, this proposed law would change a very irritating thing about us doing business with companies. And that's talking to computers. Yes, recorded voice answering services. This new law would force Spanish companies to have actual people answer your customer service calls or risk a fine. And this is super interesting to me because I know personally I don't care to talk to a computer when I'm asking for help through telephone services, which I try to avoid anyway, but still. It interests me because I wonder... Will this really increase customer service services? And will it really make our experience with customer service phone calls actually better? Right in, people. Do you hate talking to a computer, or would it matter one way or another? What do you think about passing this bill? And I did just stop the cast right there, just because I was gonna, I was gonna edit out that bill instead of bill. But nah, I decided to roll with it anyway. It's summertime. But now to the United Nations news. And no, we're not talking about Russia and Ukraine. That's still going on for sure. But we're talking about something that the UN Security Council all agreed upon. And we whisper because if it's anything more than a whisper, then it's going to break. But they actually adopted a resolution. So interesting. But let's see what exactly this is about. We are talking about piracy in the Gulf of Guinea. And what an interesting week, huh? We get to talk about pirates twice in the same week. What a world, what a world, what a summertime. But the Gulf of Guinea is off the western coast of Africa, right where the big curve is going from South Central Africa into Western Africa, if you're going from South to North. You know, South Tome Principe is in the Gulf, and Gabon, Equatorial Guinea, Cameroon, Nigeria, Benin, Togo, Ghana, all have coastlines on the Gulf of Guinea. So what exactly did the UN Security Council actually vote on and write? Well, to tell countries bordering the Gulf of Guinea to share intelligence with Interpol and other international organizations that deal with law enforcement, and to make piracy illegal, and to enforce those laws and prosecute people who break those laws. Well done, United Nations Security Council. You saved the world again, or rather demonstrated how utterly useless you can be at times. Firstly, no one has to listen to this resolution. Secondly, are we actually saying that people in these countries never thought about doing these things? And thirdly, WTF people, how about sending some more law enforcement boats to help patrol the waters? Seems like that would likely help decrease piracy. But no, the Security Council just says... Please do a better job. Thanks for calling. You've received the UN voicemail. If you have an urgent matter, please contact your local authorities, as we really can't do shit anyway. Now to Colombia we go to update you on the results of the first round of the presidential elections there. On Monday, we told you there were six candidates going for it, and two candidates have secured enough votes to go into a runoff. Gustavo Petro gets 40% of the vote the former member of M19 that we mentioned on Monday. And Rodolfo Hernandez receives 28% of the vote. And because neither candidate won 50% plus one of the vote, a second round between the two top vote-getters is required, which will be held on June 19th. So just a few weeks away, we will know who the next Colombian president is. But just imagine a democratic system of government where people vote for president And a president is required to get the majority of the popular vote in order to win. Isn't that some shit? Now to the United Arab Emirates, a.k.a. the UAE, and Israel. All the headlines are in saying these two countries signed a free trade agreement. The headlines are bullshit, people. Opening access to markets and or lowering tariffs on trade. That's not free trade. It's decreasing trade barriers and opening up economic collaboration. There's a big, big difference. And while I'm even seeing quotes from both countries' government officials calling calling this a free trade agreement, well, they can call it a piece of pecan pie if they want. And yes, I said pecan. Why not pecan, pecan, pecan? Who cares? It doesn't matter if they call it pecan or pecan or free trade. It's still not a free trade agreement. It's the normalization of trade and the reduction of trade barriers. It is not 
the elimination of trade barriers, and therefore, it is not a free trade agreement. Now you know. And a last piece of news to send you on your way for the day. To Australia we go, and into the ocean, where scientists from the University of Western Australia have found a new, the largest plant on planet Earth. It's seagrass. Seagrass! That's about 77 square miles big, or about 200 square kilometers big if you're the rest of the world. But it's a patch of seagrass, people! That's massive! And think about that too. Grass is one plant. It's not like a leaf of grass is a single plant by itself, but rather the whole patch of grass is one plant. It's interesting to think about, am I right? And because of that, the largest plant on Earth isn't a giant sequoia tree, but rather a patch of grass in the sea. That's about 200 square kilometers big, or 77 square miles. And that's a brief snapshot of what's going on in the world today. Check out lofipolysod.com, the music, the episodes, the blogs, the letters, the art. Add us on all the socials. People hit us up. And it's not a cliche or a catchphrase. It's a lifestyle. Always remember that Lofi Poly Sci is more than just me. It's the we that we be. Talk to you soon, Lofi listeners. Pickering, signing off. <laughs>